Yo, welcome back to another video. In case you don't already know, I'm making an action roguelike, similar to the likes of The Binding of Isaac and to The Gungeon and Nuclear Throne, with the main jetpack mechanic being used for dodging as well as movement and traversing the terrain. This week I decided that if I was going to have a load of rooms in each level, I was going to need to make a room editor, as this would dramatically speed up development. This tool was originally going to be made for me and wasn't going to be in the game on release. However, I may add it as a feature in the full game. But if I do, it will be significantly more polished than it is now. So I first started off with a really basic interface, where I could place blocks in a grid the same size as the rooms. Next I worked on a few tools I could use. The two tools that I thought would be most used would be the brush and the eraser, so it made sense to add them first, as well as adding the ability to change brush size. Next I made the UI for the blocks look a bit nicer, and also added additional block types that can be used. So the blue block represents the first tile set, the orange block represents the second tile set, and the grey block represents the destructible stone blocks. I also added some neat little shortcuts for changing brush size, so you can use the, the mouse scroll wheel to scroll through the, the brush size. I also made it so you can use the mouse middle click to toggle between brush and eraser. These are just little things to make development a little bit quicker. At this point I also added the ability to change the room's darkness amount. This is so I can see how dark certain areas in the room are while I make the layout and later on I will be adding the ability to place lights. This next bit is purely cosmetic. I added an edit mode and a game view mode option, so that I can toggle between what the game looks like in blueprint mode and what it looks like with the actual in-game tile sets. With this I added the ability to change the tile sets so in the future I can mix and match colour schemes to test out the look I want. Next I added a floor tile changer, and at this point you can really see it's all coming together. The last thing I had to add was the ability to place more floor tiles, and finally make it so I can save this room layout into the list of room layouts. So right now all it's doing is printing the room layout array into the console, which obviously you can't see. This is just a, purely a tool for me, so I can just copy it from here and just paste it into the script that uh, generates the rooms. If I was to add this as a, as a feature in you know, the final game, obviously this would be polished and it wouldn't be printing to the console. I also added a load feature, which allows me to load up an existing room and edit it or add to it in the future if I want to. This level editor makes designing rooms so much quicker. Because the rooms are essentially giant 2D arrays, coding a single room could take hours if I was to manually type in all these numbers into the array. However, the system is still not finished. I still need to add a second layer on the room so I can design where and which enemies should spawn, as well as light sources and other obstacles like tables, but I can't really do this yet until I have a load of different enemy types to choose from. So that has now become my main focus for the next few devlogs, enemy design. So hopefully next week I have enough enemies made that I can make a video. And anyway, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe if you like the content and like the video, leave a comment on some enemy designs and uh, I might add them to the game. But right now I'm gonna head out and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.